gonna be fine. Look, I'm sorry I've been, I don't know, bitchy about this whole thing. It's just not comfortable for me. Lying and having someone else cover my mistakes and it just sort of keeps on compounding one on top of the other. I'm being deployed to Iraq. I'm heading for Texas tomorrow morning. You haven't finished your residency. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna finish up the last few electives down there. They called you up just like that? Yeah. You're a coward. What? what? Coward and a liar. I never asked you to do this for me, but you did. And now you're leaving. And I'm supposed to live with the fact that I killed a man and that you helped a lie for me to cover it up? Listen, Nina. Go, oh, Michael. Go to bloody Iraq. And tell yourself you've done something noble. I had to protect you and Dr. Carter. No. You didn't. Got anything else? Uh, no, that's about it. You'll need this. Rabbit's foot. It's American for good luck, isn't it? Thanks. You're welcome. You better come back. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I will. You just better be a damn good doctor when I do. You were great in there. You really took control. Teddy, listen. I'm sorry about the Theophilin thing. I'll have to thank Chuni for fixing it. Just listen, okay? You want to know a secret? You don't have to be that smart to be a good doctor. You just have to be thorough, systematic, and meticulous. I'm, I'm trying. Not hard enough. You've missed glaring physical findings, overlooked critical labs, and I've been correcting your med orders all night. It's my first shift. <laughs> I realize that, but you're responsible for real people here, and I can't watch your every move. I know that, and, and I want to thank you. And your attitude. It's just so contrite and appreciative. It's just weird. I, I guess I just don't get it. Wait. Let me get some coffee. You need anything? Teddy, wait. We'll do a head to toe HMP together. Might help identify where some of your deficiencies are. All night. Taking a bubble bath and eating bonbons. Lewis is going to make you run the board. Mm -hmm. Just remember that from episodes and alcohol dehydrogenous and Hey, come on, come on. Come on. That's got to be the wankiest idea I've ever heard. You must be shell shocked. Oh, what are you wankiest? Uh, foolish, ridiculous, possibly even stupid. I think 
that is the best idea I have ever had. I don't know what the problem is. Okay, it's sweet. Yeah, it's best. I don't think so. And it's 10 after 7. I have to go to work. <sighs> Just give me one good reason why we should. God, because it's 100 degrees in here and I'm about to die. Right, you're trying to change the subject. I can't breathe. Listen, you can be honest with me. No, I am being honest with you. I can't breathe. No, Michael! I'm not budgeting until you give me one good reason why we should. Because you've gone completely mad. Oh, come on. No muss, no fuss. No family. No, OK, OK. They might be a little surprised. Oh, you but... think? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Guess what I did today? Oh, they'd get over it. I uh, know. Actually, I don't think mine would. No, they'll have to, because I love you. Michael. Listen, it'll be a great story to tell our grandchildren. They'll think we were crazy. Yeah? We would be crazy. But do you love me? Yes, I do. Yeah. See? You already said I do. That settles it. That settles it. We're getting hitched today. Wait, wait. Not so fast. Will I have a bouquet? Michael. Michael. <laughs> hey, how was it? Endless. Well, I'm making a stir fry. Beer or wine? Neither. I'm exhausted and already drunk. All right. Here. Taste this. Freshwater chestnut. Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. Thought they grew in cans. All right, well, I went to the Omen, and I was too scared to watch it alone. Right. It's better than The Exorcist. I promise it's a classic. Well, that's what you said about The Exorcist. True, but... Ray. I know. You're tired. Ray. OK, well... <laughs> I know you don't like devil movies. It's the last one, I promise. I think I should move out. Why? I think we both know why. No! Oh, don't shoot. Sorry. Did I wake you? I, uh, I couldn't find my laser pointer. I had to root around a bit. Yes, I ate all your cereal at 4 a.m. and no, there's no milk left either. I'm a terrible roommate. It's gonna be fine. You know, I've known about this trauma conference for two months, so the fact that I'm this unprepared two hours before is quite unsettling. Well, you don't want to over-rehearse your talk. You should just wing it. Keep it fresh. Wing it? This is an open mic night, you know. Oh, oh crap! You know, I blame this on you. Me? If you hadn't have made me watch every horror film from the 1970s, I might have actually gotten hey, some work done this week. Not every horror film, just the devil ones. Hey, you're a bad influence. Oh, thank you. Hey, come here. You got a little... Yeah. You know, I haven't pulled an all-nighter since... ever. I have never pulled an all-nighter. It's good for a person now and then. Well, not for me. I'm used to being in control of these situations. What situation? I'm usually so organized. Debenko's gonna kill me if I'm late. Well, um. What? How about 86? Don't worry about the series. It's okay, you have plenty of time to learn all that in the next five years. What? Well, it seems like all my complaining's finally paid off. We've been funded for an additional slot in the surgical residency. It's yours for the asking. Are you serious? Well, if you don't want it. No, I, w I want it. I want it. Sorry, it's the ER. Ignore it. You're a surgeon. We never answer on the first page. I'm kidding, go. Come find me after your shift. We'll grab beer at Ike's to celebrate. Yeah, that would be great, but the drinks are on me. So, I guess congratulations are in order. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Devenko. Just told me I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to being your attending. Right, wonderful. Mila, uh, Luca's looking for you. Yeah, I got his page. Hey, guess what? I got the surgical residency. Wow, that's great. Uh, you should really try to find Luca. Yeah, hello. Mila, hold up. I need to talk to you. Hey, I got it. What? Surgical residency. Yeah, that's, that's good for you. That's really great. Well, I'll try to contain your enthusiasm. Listen, I, I need to tell you something. Yeah, Luca's paging me. I know, and because it's important. Well, so was my news, but nobody seems to care. Mila, listen. No, it's not like I'm leaving the hospital or anything. I'm going into surgery. I think you people will like having me up there. Abby, have you seen Luca? There are two men here to see you from the army. The army? We, um, tried to find you. Dr. Roscotra? 
Yes? I'm Captain Evans. This is Father Maris. Is there someplace more private we can talk? Can you tell me why you're here, please? I really think it would be better. Tell me. Ma'am, the Secretary of the Army would like to express his deepest regret. Wait, there must be that some your mistake. husband, Captain Michael Gallant, was killed in action. No, in I'm, I'm sorry. You've got it mixed 29. up. Michael is a doctor. He's not a soldier, soldier. He was killed when his truck was hit by a roadside bomb. Again, the Secretary extends his deepest sympathy. I'm sorry. I'm working. I can't do this right now. talking to him four days ago. I was complaining about the food and I was complaining about how cold Abby's apartment is. I honestly don't even remember what else we were talking about. I'm so sorry, Neil. We all are. You no, know, I was probably ordering a latte or watching celebrity poker when he was being blown up by a bomb. Just like that, he's gone. Listen, if you need anything, um, or you want me to do anything. No, Ray, I, I don't. I don't need you to do anything. I just, I need to go back to work. No, Neil, look. You need to go home and take care of things. You need to take care of yourself. You know what? I don't have a home. I don't have a husband. I don't have anything. All I have is this stupid Anvil. Just, just stay the hell away from me. Bull, uh, facing terrible odds against Custer, turned to his warriors and said, this is a good day to die. That's how a soldier has to think. That's the kind of boy I raised. Michael would want you to have these. Well, to me, all they mean is that he's dead. This is a hard time for all of us. How dare you? How dare you stand there and say that? A good day to die? I was explaining the mindset of a warrior. You could have kept him here. You could have saved him. Well, sit down. But instead, you made him want to go back. For what? Because there was something noble in it? Why did you do that? When it would have been just as easy to convince him to stay for a much better reason. Because we loved him. Because we loved him. Hey, come on, let's go for a walk, okay? It's Neela. Extensive crush injuries to the chest, abdomen, all four extremities. Pressure's only 90 over 60. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I've been better. Yeah. Okay. The pupils are equal and reactive. What year is it, huh? Seven. Okay, good. Let's go to trauma one. Oh, God, not the yellow room. Gonna be all right. Let's start with the lateral C-spine. No, I think a lateral would be a waste of time if you're gonna pan scan her in CT. Yeah, we're starting with the lateral, okay? Four units of bone neck. Set her up for a central line. Perfect. All going right now. I swear to God, I'll call security if I have to. Okay. Hey, feet tap. No. Damn it, this is what happens when you screw around in the Come ER. Here. 300 charge. Clear. No change. Resuming compressions. All right, charge to 300. All right, 100 Lido. All right, clear. Sinus rhythm. With a pulse. All right, clear the way. Let's go. No, no. Potassium's 8.1. Oh, my God. CK's 9,200. This rhabdo. Glycon, insulin, glucose, and KX.